What's going on everyone, today we're going to be ranking all 10 Saw films from the worst to the best. So I've actually been a fan of this franchise for quite some time. I watched all the movies for the first time way before I even made this channel. And then of course I saw Spiral in theaters and then now I just saw Saw X. I've been a fan of it, but not like a major fan. I've never felt like these movies were incredible in quality, but there's a few of them that I really do love and a few of which are within my top 50 horror films of all time. So let's just get right into this. Starting with the number 10 spot is going to be Saw 4. There's a couple towards the bottom here that honestly you can probably interchange and I really wouldn't argue with you whatsoever. I think there's a couple at the bottom, they're all pretty bad, but I just decided to go with Saw 4 as my least favorite because I think it's just the least interesting out of all these bottom ones. Uh, definitely the most boring as well, like at least some of the other ones I'm gonna have above this are at least a little bit more entertaining. This one I just found to be kind of boring. A lot of the reasons for the victims being in the traps was not very compelling whatsoever, especially with the main character of Riggs. I, I would call Rig the main character. He was the detective that was actually going around to all, all these different traps, the one that was actually being tested more so than anyone. But like, he didn't have any connection to most of the characters who were involved in these traps, and some of them he did, but it was just... I just didn't really find it to be that interesting. This movie also does introduce Strom and Hoffman, well, introduces them in a bigger sense. And I do really like Strom as a character. He's actually one of the better characters in the Saw films, and he's in two of the worst ones, in my opinion. But Hoffman, on the other hand, eh, he's fine. I don't hate him. I don't think he's a terribly written character, but he's definitely not interesting. He's definitely one of the weaker Jake Saw killers. I just feel like this one has a very messy story, dialogue's not very good, but I do like the ending with Detective Matthews returning and what happened there. I did like that. That was the only part of this movie, one of the only parts that I think was genuinely good. And when the pedophile pervert guy gets killed, that was kind of entertaining too. But the rest of it just, I don't know, not much to this movie that really satisfies me. In the ninth spot, I'm gonna go with Saw 5. It's kind of the same deal where it's just not very interesting. A lot of the reasons for the characters being involved is not very interesting. But I do love, it's got one of my favorite scenes in the entire franchise with Strom saving himself in that like giant cage with the water filling up and he stabs himself with the pen in order to, you know, have air out of his neck. It's one of my favorite scenes in the entire franchise. I believe that happens at the very beginning of this film, but pretty much everything else is just not very good. The main game itself doesn't really connect with everything else that's happening with Hoffman in this movie, and most of that stuff is not that great other than those few strong moments. And it's probably the most forgettable of the franchise. Other than that one scene, I just think everything else is just very forgettable. It just <laughs> This movie does not linger with you whatsoever. You just go out of it being like, okay, that's another Saw movie. There's nothing much to it. In the eighth spot, I'm gonna go with Saw 3D, also known as Saw 7, the final chapter. I believe that's the other title for it, something like that. But I don't think this one is nearly as bad as people say, although it is still really bad. I definitely think it has more flaws than Saw 4 and 5, but the thing is, there's just more about it that I find to be at least a little bit more entertaining. It's got some of some of the most interesting traps we've seen in the Saw franchise. I love that scene with Jill with the reverse bear trap actually working for the first time, because we've seen the reverse bear trap used twice before, but it just, the person survived it. So we actually get to see it being used. It was really cool. There's a couple of other cool traps in this. But it's a really poorly made movie. It looks really bad. The way it was shot is pretty terrible. It's got a messy story, just like the last two films. And this is probably some of the worst reasons for why the victims are involved in the traps. A lot of it does not relate to what's going on with Hoffman at all. And then you have a character who's completely innocent getting killed in this movie. It just doesn't make any sense. Like, I know it's Hoffman. He's just very sloppy compared to, you know, John Kramer and some other Jigsaw killers. But I just never found anything to be that compelling in this movie. It was just kind of a chore to get through, except for those couple of moments that I do find to be at least entertaining more so than the bottom two movies on this list. From here on out, I think every movie on this list is at least decent. I don't think any of these are bad anymore. In number seven spot is going to be Saw 3. Now, I think a lot of people would have Saw 3 a bit higher than me. I definitely don't think this is a popular choice to have it this low. Like I said, I do think it's a decent film. I don't think it's bad, but I think it has a couple of big glaring issues. One of the biggest things for me is killing off Amanda and John Kramer in the same movie. Like I get killing off one of them maybe, but both of them and even the writers recently just admitted in an interview that they regret doing that and they even brought them back in Saw X you know it obviously takes place in between one and two but they brought them back because they realized they made such a big mistake the traps in this movie although very memorable and interesting 
I don't like them because most of them are unbeatable. And that just doesn't, it's just not as interesting as traps that you can actually beat. And I know that's the whole point. Amanda's making the traps, so if she makes them that way. I understand that. But it's just, it's not good. It doesn't make for as entertaining content. But I do like the whole idea of Jeff's character, how he has to go through and kind of try to save these people who were involved in, you know, his daughter's death. That whole concept is really interesting. I just wish it was executed a bit better. And the whole stuff with, um, I believe her name was Lynn or something like that. I, I don't remember her name exactly, but the one who was supposed to save John Kramer's life. That whole concept was at least somewhat interesting. So I do think this was a decent film just from, you know, a surface level. But when you really look at certain things to it, it definitely doesn't hold up compared to some other Saw movies. I do like also the big focus on Kramer and Amanda here. It's probably one of the most focused on those two characters that we've ever gotten, aside from maybe Saw X. So it's a, it's a decent film. I enjoy it. It's just lower on my list than some of these other ones. In number six spot, I'm going to go with Spiral from the Book of Saw. Which I liked a lot more when I saw it in theaters, but I actually rewatched it and I didn't like it nearly as much as I did when I first saw it in theaters. And I think that was because when I first saw it in theaters, it was my first saw film seeing it in theaters. And I don't know, there's something about that that was just very different and unique. But then watching it at home, I was like, okay, it's not as good as I thought. There's definitely a lot of issues. The whole Jake Saw reveal who actually is Jake Saw in this movie kind of stinks. I think it's one of the worst reveals, one of the worst twists in the entire series. Chris Rock and his character, I don't think he's that great. He's, he's okay. He's not that great. I absolutely despise the Jigsaw voice. It's not like a big thing, but it's so terrible. Like I know it's, it's, it's purposeful because it's trying to be this person who's intimidating Jigsaw, right? So he's not going to get it exactly the same as the original Jigsaw. And it, it sounds stupid, right? But that's kind of the point. It ruins it though for me. I just, I just don't like it. Like all the scenes with that voice, it just sounds so cringe. Like... It doesn't even sound like Jigsaw. Like, I know it doesn't have to sound like Jigsaw, but at least make it somewhat terrifying. This one just sounds like an old man who just ate too much yogurt and it's kind of like stuck in his throat still and he's trying to speak and he has a really squeaky voice. That does, That's not a good comparison whatsoever, but you, you know what I mean. It just doesn't sound good. Hello, Detective Banks. Do you know where your officers are? I do like the whole police investigation side of this movie, though. I think that's very unique. For, for the Saw franchise, they had a couple that had a big focus on the police investigation, but this is like the main characters were revolved around the police investigation. And it had all to do with cops themselves. They were the ones who were you know being involved in these traps. And there's a lot of social commentary there. I thought it was pretty good for the most part. I just think there's a couple other Saw movies that I think are just way better. In the number five spot is going to be Saw 6, which... I remember before I actually went to binge all the Saw movies, this was one of them that everyone was saying was like so underrated and it was actually one of the best ones. And so when I went to watch it, I was so excited for it. And I definitely don't think it lived up to the hype that a lot of people said it. A lot of people were saying it was like the greatest one in the franchise. I still think it's a really solid movie. Only in terms of the stuff with the actual game itself revolving around this doctor who, you know, there's all these sorts of things that happen with that. And it kind of reminded me of the story in Saw X where it's a little, obviously very different, but the reason why these characters are in this traps has to do with, you know, John Kramer trying to get the you know, certain health insurances for, for everything with his cancer treatment. And, you know, this guy just making it a lot more difficult for him, obviously. So I, I like that side of it. There's some social commentary there, but the traps themselves are really great. There's actually a lot of cool ones here that I fucking love and it's kind of similar to saw 3 where it's like the same character kind of going through all the traps and having to deal with different you know rooms that have different people you have like the the carousel one which it's not really a, like a typical saw trap obviously but i still really enjoy it the one with the steam is probably one of my favorites as well but then when you get to anything with hoffman i just don't care i just straight up do not care he just brings down this movie way too much it's like if you focus more on the game stuff i probably would have liked it more but this anything with hoffman i'm just like i, I just don't i don't care i'm sorry i don't in number four spot is going to be Jigsaw from 2017. This is probably my most unpopular opinion here because I don't think anybody has Jigsaw this high. This is definitely one of the more hated ones in this franchise. And I think it, there's, there's reasons why it probably is. I mean, when you have a new movie that comes out in a franchise and there hasn't been one in a long time and it doesn't live up to the expectations, it's bound to get more hate than some of the other ones. Like if Saw X was not widely well received, which it was, but it, it, if it let's say it wasn't, then I don't think it would be nearly as detrimental because we just had a Saw movie two years ago and we're probably going to have another one in a few years. But Jigsaw was like, okay, this is the first Saw movie in like 
five plus years or something like that. So everyone was expecting like we need to get something really great here and people didn't feel that way. I love the movie though. I think it has a lot of solid stuff to it. Only thing I really don't like is the reveal again, just like spiral. It just doesn't really work for me. It wasn't necessarily predictable, but it just felt like, and eh, like, that's just not interesting of a reveal whatsoever. It, it would be different if it was like a copycat type thing, like it wasn't spiral. I think that actually might've worked better, but this was like an accomp another accomplice, right? And it just kind of gets annoying because it's like, there's another secret accomplice. Like, get the fuck out of here. We had, you know, I for forgot to mention it for Saw 7, but like Gordon being another secret accomplice. And then you had, you know, Amanda and Hoffman and, and now another one. Like, come on with that shit, man. But I do like the whole, the only part about the twist I like is how most of it was set like decades before. And when, when they reveal, you know, Kramer being there, he was involved in those traps. That stuff's really cool. But the accomplice thing, I just, that didn't work for me whatsoever. I think they should have just had it be a reveal that maybe it was Kramer and this was older. I don't know. They could have worked it better than they, what they did. But um, I love the production value to this movie. I think it's one of the best looking Saw films. Some of the traps are amazing as well. I think the buckets on the head with the with the Saw blades coming out of that thing was probably one of my favorite traps in the entire franchise. It's very simple, but it just works very very effectively where you couldn't you could get out of it you just to make yourself bleed a bit and you're safe but obviously that could be very difficult when you got to saw things just kind of pulling you closer to it and then you're gonna you know it's i think it was really cool though and now let's get into the top three and these are the only movies in the saw franchise i would consider to be great films everything below this it was just like either good or decent or just straight up terrible but now we're getting to the ones that i think are great and number three spot is gonna be saw x I really wanted to put Saw X higher, but I just don't think it, it holds up to the top two, but it's fantastic. I really enjoyed watching this in theaters just a few days ago. It's actually got a really good story with John Kramer. It probably is the best story out of any of these films. So if you're just looking for the story, that's all you care about. This one definitely has the best writing and the best dialogue, all that stuff. It's very well made in general. I think the traps were a little underwhelming, although still being really interesting and cool. And there's a couple issues regarding like the the realism of some of these traps and most of these movies don't really have that but i think i should mention it here because it really works in a lot of other places like they really put a lot of care into this this film so you felt like certain things you had more expectations for and that was just one of those things the setting was really cool the reasons for the victims being on these traps was just incredibly interesting because it actually was a very personal thing for john kramer whereas most of the time it's not that personal sometimes it's just like oh this person did something bad so i'm gonna put them in the trap this one was literally someone who wronged kramer and a bunch of other people as well and you actually genuinely were rooting for Kramer because you never root for him. I, I personally don't ever root for him in the other movies. I, I don't know who does. I mean, sure, all these people done some bad things, but I don't think they deserve to be put in these awful traps most of the time. Whereas this, you see this woman here, this, this, this new character, you're like, okay, yeah, she deserves this shit. <laughs> She's more evil than Kramer. So you're actually rooting for him, which is so different and so unique. And that really works for me. And I think that's a really refreshing way to keep this franchise going. But it's not the best one. In the number two spot, I'm going to go with Saw, the original from James Wan. And I'm a big James Wan fan. He's one of my favorite directors of all time. And so, of course, his directing style here is just superb. And a lot of the movies going forward, although they're not directed by James Wan, they do like to keep that James Wan feel. You can tell by how a lot of them are directed even later on. Even Saw X had a lot of those similar Saw kind of flair-esque moments. Like, for example, the whole like spinning around um, Amanda during when she's in the bear trap. Like, you know, like it's really fast moving around her and it was like really like twitchy. That type of stuff. You see that in most of the Saw movies and it started here. And I just really like that stuff. I think it's really unique to the Saw franchise and really interesting. It's a very simple movie, but it's very effective. I love the detective side of the story with David Tapp, which was, of course, Danny Glover's character. Most of the time, like I said, I only really care about the stuff going on with the traps and most of the other story can kind of take or leave it. I loved it in Saw X, the other stuff. And this movie was another one where I did love a lot of the stuff outside of the traps. It was genuinely some good stuff. And all the scenes just between Dr. Gordon and Adam were fantastic as well. Of course, this is the first one, so it has a very unique original idea. And just seeing Billy the Puppet on the TV, like it's such a scary, iconic thing. And it's probably the scariest movie in the franchise as well. Like just that feel of them just being alone in this bathroom and they have no idea where they are. And, you know, Dr. Gordon's family's in danger. And, and then the, the reveal at the end is definitely one of the best twists in the entire franchise. So this movie 
rocks all the way through. But in the number one spot is going to have to be Saw 2. Saw 2 is so incredible and I'm surprised more people don't have this as their favorite Saw film but this is the only one that I would genuinely say is like incredible uh, like through and through maybe not perfect I don't think any of these movies are like perfect or anything like that but this movie's solid I love the conversations between Eric Matthews and John Kramer I think this is one of the most Kramer focused films here other than Saw X and I love that shit like it's so good and then you have this whole game going on which they reveal later on that it happened actually like you know, yeah, I think it was days before, hours before, something like that. And that's kind of similar to Jigsaw, although Jigsaw was like, you know, years before. But this was just like, okay, it happened before. And that was a pretty big twist. And then, of course, Amanda and that twist was huge as well. And I thought that was amazing. Well, probably the best twist in the franchise, actually. And the whole haunted house feel that this movie has is really cool. Because most of the time, these traps take place in like dungeons or like a warehouse or like a factory. But this is just in a house and it feels like a haunted house. And I think it's so unique. Sometimes there is some hard to believe things like, okay, you really lead me to believe that this house has absolutely no way out of it. Like you can't break through the walls or something to escape. But apparently Jigsaw thought of everything and he boarded that shit down good so they could not escape it. It's a really, really, really well-made movie though. The traps are great. I love the characters as well. It's probably got some of the best characters that are involved in the traps in this entire franchise. So that's a huge thing, and I really don't have any negatives for it. Honestly, I can't think of a single thing about this movie that I thought was that terrible. I just, it's a solid Saw film that gives me everything I would want from a Saw movie. So thank you all for watching. Let me know your list in the comment section down below. I'm very curious to hear what you guys think is the best and the worst Saw movies. I will see you all in my next one. Peace out.